What I want to share is, in the script, it tells us, I'm going to give you a scriptural reference. I'm going to give you a scriptural reference. Okay? Um, in the scriptural reference, let's go to the book of Acts right quick. All right? Acts chapter 11, verse 26. Acts chapter 11, verse 26. This is where we find the first uses of the word Christian. And the word Christian is tied to those who were worshipers of Zeus. No, it's not. Okay? That's a, that's a lie. Acts that's chapter correct. 11, verse 26 is where we see the, the first usage of that phraseology, Christian. All right? Now, Acts chapter 11, verse 26, and it reads, And when he found him, he brought him into Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they were with the congregation and taught much people. Like the and the disciples like were first the called Christians like the in Antioch. I know okay? basically you've got a whole now, bunch of the Greeks name. called them that name yeah. Christian yeah. because the Greeks were worshippers of the sun and of Zeus, the house of Zeus. Okay? The, 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 the phraseology Christo actually that? came from wood. So, and we know for a fact, those of you that know anything about sun worshippers and the summer sauces know that in June, when the summer sauces comes here, the pagans bathe themselves or cover themselves with suntan lotion and lay in the sun to get a tan on the sun's deck. Called the summer solstice. Okay, so the Acts terminology Christian Acts came from Acts the Cretans who were Greek worshippers of Zeus. So what did they do? The Greeks, it wasn't until they, they gave us the new rendition of the Greek text, aka known as the Septuagint, where they substituted what we showed you, the iota and the hmm. upsilon. To E A Zeus. But that's not Zeus. Okay. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Tanning uh, Enoid is very relevant. It's very relevant because it it's has to do him. with the smearing of oil. That's where the word anointing comes from. You're missing the whole point. You're missing the whole point now, Sean. The point is that the terminology Christian is connected or attached to the worship of Zeus. And you're failing to realize that. So why not take the sacred book and tr I got it, and trans translate the book or transliterate the book, however you want to call it, because in some places they translate, some places they transliterate. Okay? And put and substitute. Zeus, or I.E. Zeus, is a substitution, not a transliteration or a translation at all. It's a substitution of the Greek, the Greek pagan deity you called Zeus. That. You still have it now, it. you want to argue with the information that the pagans have put. I'm going to share it because my time is probably up. I'm going to share a few more sources of information the next time I, the next time I come to the mic. All right, I yield the mic. That's the same person who yielded the mic up. Right? All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, <clears throat> number one, you know, like showed us. Uh, who was that link? The brother showed us a link um, about the old Greek letter uh, uh, system. Then he went off into the Cretans and explain how the Cretan, how, how Zeus originated in the island of Crete and how the Cretans were worshippers of Zeus. Okay. Then he went on to say how Christians, wait, did, 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 did I even look up the word Christian? Um, I did. Look, what, what, read that. Uh, and we gonna, we, we gonna be simple about this here. Let's go into... Christians should go back to Crete then if that's the case, right? right? If we look up this word Christian, it, it, should, it should tell us that Christians originated or or some form of the etymology of the word Christian 
And brother, it should come from Crete. And brother, one thing about That's it. That's the first thing we need to look at. Go ahead. Uh, Christian, Christianis, um, noun from Greek, Christianos, um, Christos. Uh, so Latin is Christianis, Greek is Christos, uh, yeah, Chris, Christos. One who professes belief in the teachings of Jesus Christ, a member of one of the churches of Christ. Um, two, of or relating to Christianity based on or conforming with Christianity, um, professing Christianity, commendably decent or generous, has a very concern for others. I mean, we read out of the Western Collegiate Dictionary, the 11th edition. I don't even see nowhere there. Yo, Ock, you got another dictionary over there? Yeah. You read, you look up Christian? Let's okay. read from another uh, dictionary source. And I want to go back to Crete also. As, as my brother goes, uh, as my brother, uh, Shalom, this is Brother Zadok. Now, Sean and I are sitting here, so um, we allow one another to edify on the point, as Paul said, you know, if one standeth by, let him edify. So what I have here, I got the word Crete, uh, or Cretan, I believe I was the one he had first. Do you want it? And here, yeah, bring that over, brother. Now here, literally, it means wretch or innocent victim. Now that part isn't brought out. The reason why, the reason why they're called Cretan because even the word Cretan isn't necessarily, it don't mean the island of Crete. The word is actually, the Greeks are expressing their opinion of a certain people. So a certain people they consider stupid or vulgar. That island was named in their tongue what it was called. Right. But it also carries the idea of an innocent person. Now, the, it says that the Jews were first called Christian in Antioch. And the reason that that is is because of the lifestyle they, the lifestyle that they lived. Them giving up the world and living in communities like they did in Acts 2 and 4 was foolishness unto the world around when the world sought after uh, 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 food, clothing, shelter, and the riches of the world. Is that why he said 1 Corinthians, the wisdom of God? It's, it's foolishness. foolishness unto men. And he, no. Christ also says that, he also says that the nations seek after the riches of the earth. But when the Christians gave that up in the lifestyle of love, what they did in the reputation of them were considered innocent and they were persecuted. So the people called them Cretan, which also means innocent victims. It has nothing to do with the island of Crete. Because no, they didn't call no Cretans, uh, Cretans, it called the Jews first Christians. And Peter says, and that's not a mistake, he said, if any man suffer as a Christian, that you do well. See, so what we have here is just like the word idiot. The original word idiot, which comes from the Latin idiom, means common person, average, and the rich noble class of Europe would call the common man under them idiot. But when we use the term idiot, we do not necessarily, we're not calling somebody common. We even mean something different. But it was a term that the rich used against the poor, idiot. So it's the same thing with Cretan. It means innocent victim, not just the other context. It has a few different contexts. It seems that uh, the, the, the Moray has chosen what particular context he wanted to find but still following the island of Crete, and that being where Zeus worship started, still doesn't prove that we, or any other quote unquote Christian, are calling upon the Greek thunder god Zeus when we use that, uh, when we use the term Piesis. Go ahead. So in other words, you can't take what look like it sound good, what look like it fit, and merge them together. We need that one binding evidence to say, without a shadow of a doubt, yes, this word originated from this right here. The etymology of this word has its origin here. But you took two separate words, and you, it's just like you take two fruits because they look the same and they almost all have the same color, you assume they're the same fruit. It's not the same fish, it's not. But um, I got five minutes left, listen, okay, cool. All right. Um, you know, if that's how you want to, if that's how you guys come to the conclusion that it come out of Zeus, okay, fine then. But here's the, but we do know, we also understand 
how the, the root 